on board airline tonight. Confusion on the ground. I cannot get you on that flight because that flight is now fully booked. Yes, but it's fully booked with people in our seats. Far end. Yep. In the air. Hold back, hold back. Well, you're going up again. And on the road. Call their head office, tell them we're paying their bill if the bus has taken us where we want to go. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in Far Bombay. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. It's 5 a.m. at Luton Airport. Check-in supervisor Jane Bolton is already on duty in an orange boiler suit. <laughs> but she shouldn't have any problems with today's passengers. They're all EasyJet staff and their families on a special charter flight to Brussels. Very nice. Love you. Mwah. Mwah. Cheerio. Oh, it's just not suit me. <laughs> I'm going to be glad to get back into my uniform for once now. <laughs> Chairman Stelios Haji Iyanu is off to lobby the European Commission. And he's taking a plane load of supporters with him. At check-in, one family are having trouble getting to Glasgow. If that's absolutely not doable, then you must get us onto this Edinburgh flight within the next five minutes, apparently. Bloody airline. They haven't the faintest idea. Does he take his bags with him? We get here, having phoned up twice on the train and being told the seats would be held for us, to find that it hasn't happened. We're going up to see my aged parents with a two year old. Absolutely appalling. They could transfer to the Edinburgh flight if a supervisor can be found to sort it out in the next five minutes. Stelios and his troops are on their way to Brussels. He's thinking of making a formal complaint over what he sees as unfair competition. Stop, go, stop, go. Stelios thinks it's unfair that British Airways can subsidise its budget airline Go. BA, not surprisingly, says Go competes fairly and lawfully. What we should be doing as we arrive in Brussels, there should be, I think, three coaches waiting for us, which will take us down to where Stelios' meeting is later this morning. There might be 50 cabin crew on board, but if you want refreshment, it's a case of serve yourself. It's organised chaos, yeah, but we love it. It's just like working at McDonald's, isn't it? <laughs> Back in the terminal, time's running out. John Davis has just four minutes to put his case to manager Rob Mills. Yes. So I phoned Reed Aviation right. on two occasions from the train. OK. Said, look, this is what's happening. We've been promised seats on the 7.15 flight. Yeah. We're a bit worried that you might give them to some other people who are queuing for the 6 o'clock flight, the right. 17 flight. OK. They said, we won't do that, Mr right. Davis. We won't do that. We are aware of your booking. Yeah. We got here and found they had done precisely that. Yeah. And Simone has told me there is nothing she can do about that. She won't get me on that flight for 7.15. At the right? moment, I cannot get you on that flight because that flight is now fully booked. Yes, but it's fully booked with people in our seats. Yeah. What I can do is get you on the next available flight. Right, that's Edinburgh. It closes in four minutes. Get us onto the Edinburgh flight, which I've just been told by EasyJet on my mobile phone right. that you can do. <laughs> Two and a child. Can you raise the lid to uh, 151 for me and I'll transfer them straight over? All right, mate, cheers. Bye. Right, that's no problem, so that's all. Mum, if you want to, um, come, if you want to and you're happy to, then come and, come and pick us up in Edinburgh at quarter to eight. Uh, that's the one that we transferred our booking to, and they promised to get us on to that, and they haven't been able to. They've messed up big time. OK, 
okay. It's I'm fine. sorry about the problem there. Thank you for no sorting it out. It's all right. I'm sorry I had to page you three times to get you there to do it. Right. So you sort it out now? Yes, yeah, it's better. Is, but it would not have happened if I hadn't... You saw the stink that I had to pick up there. And, you know, that should not be necessary. If we were in America, I would be getting about £8,000 worth of therapy per year. From here on, for the rest of my life, I'd have easy, Jeff. It's fine, thank you. Thank you very much. Are you going to come with Danny? You're going to come with Danny? quick One problem solved, but the EasyJet outing to Brussels has hit a snag. Yeah, do apply pressure because I've worked with bus drivers a lot before. Call their head office, tell them we're paying their bill. If the bus does take us where we want to go, if they don't take us where we don't want where we don't want to go, we don't pay the bill. Running jetliners is one thing, but trying to organise Belgian buses, quite another. OK. And the drivers aren't the only problem. There are now 140 people trying to get into 120 seats because the boss has commandeered one of the buses. Stelios was running 25 minutes behind schedule and therefore had to leave and to get to his meeting in time. So uh, I hope he remembers to take off his orange boiler suit before the meeting, but we'll see. <laughs> There's about 20 of us haven't got on the bus, so they're sending out another bus. So I'll, I'll come with the final group of people. <laughs> the advance guard have made it into central Brussels and straight to the nearest coffee bar. We're having a pre-protesting drink. No, it's not protesting time yet. We're waiting for Stelios to come out of this office in about three quarters of an hour. So we're all just staying around here to have um, a drink. I bet the people working in here wonder what the hell's going on, because we all look like outpatients from a psychiatric hospital. At Liverpool Airport, someone will be doing without their duty free, but their loss could have more serious consequences. Dispatcher Kevin Reardon's on the scene. The likes of that could cause a lot of damage, because when the aircraft starts up, if it's not removed, it'll fly straight into the front of that aircraft, possibly into the engine. So uh, it's pretty important we get it shifted as soon as possible. Is anybody coming out now? Have you seen it? Have you? The cleaners have been called, but with just a 20-minute turnaround for EasyJet flights, time's running out. Still no sign of the cleaners, so it's Kevin to the rescue. It's a routine chore and all part of the dispatcher's job, but today, Kevin has a more exciting appointment at the other side of the airport. He started taking flying lessons. How are you feeling? Yeah, good, Jim, yeah. You're back to steering the aeroplane with your feet there. Right, OK, and we're following this yellow line. It's a bit like really controlling my son's PlayStation, this. Is it so? Yeah, it is, yeah. Well, what you to do now is we get to take off speed and start pulling back nice and gently. Right, right about now, Jim. Yeah, that's fine. Excellent. OK. Right, let's practice um, a turn round to the uh, left, first of all. I told you to turn left. I'm sorry, yeah. That's but... right, though. No. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. No wonder you're not station manager yet <laughs> if you don't know left to right. But there should be um, a little... There should be an L on the left-hand bit and an R on the right-hand bit, shouldn't there? Exactly so. We're heading towards Runcorn Bridge now. Can you see oh, right. Runcorn Bridge? Hang on. Yes, I can, yeah. It's a bridge. It's a bridge, yeah. It's your eyesight, that's yeah, bad. You sorry. can't spot a bridge. <laughs> yeah, I can see it, yeah. When are we going up in the aircraft, Jim? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Back in Brussels, the stragglers are finally on their way and straight into heavy traffic. Stelios's meeting is already over. You should have seen his face when I walked in with an orange boiler suit. He said, uh, you look very impressive. <laughs> but I think I won his trust by using sort of proper arguments. You know, he understood within 10 minutes that 
yeah. I know what I'm talking about, and this is not a, a crazy demand. This is a properly structured complaint. Stelios is expecting to be greeted by a sea of orange protesters, but the only people waiting for him are the journalists. Hi, I you went very well. You went very well. I'm very pleased. The Orange Brigade are in the cafe. Well, where are you, all your protesters? Well, they're probably having lunch, which is exactly where I am going. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I am paying for all of this. So if you can keep this credit card for the orange group, judge it on this one, okay? Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Back over Liverpool, what goes up must come down. Okay, so it's over to you now, Biggles. Okay, I'll land this thing. No kamikaze stuff, all right. Okay. Looking towards the far end of the runway now, Kevin. Yeah, far end. Yeah. Hold back on the control column. Hold back, hold back. Well, you're going up again. Just hold back. Don't put the nose down. Right. Hold back. Hold back. Hold back. Hold, hold. Yeah, okay. Just hold it there. Yeah. Is that okay, Jim? That was average. Palmer or the Amsterdam down there. At Luton Airport, Jane's back in uniform and back to solving problems. The Morgan family are hoping to fly to Parma for their summer holiday, but there's been a mistake with their booking. I suddenly discovered at the airport this morning that we're in fact booked for the 21st of August, not the 21st of July. And lo and behold, looking at the uh, fax confirmation, it, it clearly says that. We're just crossing our fingers at the moment that um, we know we've got definitely one person not turning up. With flights fully booked for the rest of the week, their only chance is if five people don't show up. We're obviously a bit disappointed because we're all quite looking forward to it. Just gate number 11, that's the boarding from now. Okay. Check-in closes in five minutes and latecomers are still arriving. I mean, I've got three spaces available at the moment. Right. Um, but we've got to decide who's going to go, whether it's myself or my wife. And what we're actually yeah, going to do. That's up to you. I mean, I've got three seats available at the moment, right. as I say. I'm right. still open for another three minutes. Right. Um, as for the other thing you're saying about getting onto the Britannia one, you'd have to take that with EasyJet themselves. Well, let's get someone from EasyJet down then, shall we? I'll have to yeah. take you over to EasyJet because I have to ring them. Actually, isn't anybody here? One moment, love. <coughs> yeah. Right. Well, I would have thought, you know, one solution might be if you can see if you can squeeze two of us onto the Britannia flight that's leaving a little later this morning. Hmm. Uh, Would you come down here and speak to me personally, please? I've got three seats available today, so we may have two seats available tomorrow. But as to say, if three of you want to go, I do need a decision now. So which three will it be? Women and children first? Um, if we're definitely going today, my wife is going, she'll go on the second flight. Well, oh, I'll so go on the second you'll flight. You'll go on the second flight. So it'll be... Apparently Who not. These two, these two, she's decided he can go because right. she's already been on a holiday and he hasn't. Right, okay. so you might be going later on today or tomorrow. Let's just trick yes. it out. Right. right. Leave right. right. car keys. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Mummy is going to go <laughs> on a different plane. I mean, it's on both part, unfortunately, it wasn't noticed and the wrong flights were booked for them. So, um, obviously, since they've made the booking, the bookings have gone through the roof and we're full. So, it's not a lot more we can do at the moment. What about uh, my sister? Your sister, my love, is going on another flight. Oh. I'm going to try and get on that one today. If not, she's going to go on one tomorrow and meet you out there. Meet? Tomorrow? Might be, yeah. Maria! You'll have an extra day for your sister, won't you? Yes. I'll see what we can do. Try and get out today. Right, there's the bag of seats. OK, super. And then we go else. running through. OK, right. you're going from gate number 11, which is at the far end. OK. OK, right. I'm ever so sorry. Thank you. Cheerio, bye, then. Bye, 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 well, we've got three on, so I'm just still waiting to see whether they're going to put her on the Britannia flight, the lady with the other child, or whether we can get them on standby tomorrow. Otherwise, not to say we haven't got any seats available till Saturday, but we should. If they can't put them on the Britannia flight, we should actually get them on tomorrow's flight, you know. 
she says. Nightmare, hey? The Boiler Suit Brigade are finally back on track. <laughs> Fed and watered, they're getting their act together. Everyone's in high spirits. Well, almost everyone. I think it's great, it's fantastic. This is exactly what I was trying to achieve, you know, kids and... It's been a really good day out. Better than what I thought it would be. I thought we were just going to like stand outside an office and then go straight home. We haven't quite done that. We've just been waiting in a cafe for three hours, but no, it's been good life. Back in Luton, the news isn't good for Mum and Lucia. <laughs> EasyJet can't get them onto the Britannia flight. How'd you feel now? Sick as a parrot. I really thought that they'd get us on there, actually, because nearly all flights says somebody doesn't turn up or, you know. I might need to have something because I'm terrified of flying. No problem, we can sort that out. And I really, sort that out I, for you, so I, no that was one of the things that freaked me when he went out. I thought, oh my God, because he's normally with me when I go Well, flying. the nurse can give you something for that, don't worry. Can she? <laughs> that that absolutely knocked me out. No, the vodka, please. <laughs> <laughs> We'll sort that out. But like I say, Yvonne's just speaking to Anna now, so we're trying to get a hotel sorted out at the moment. Right. All right? Yes, thank you. Very you left to come and stay with me. <laughs> you want to clean knickers? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Plenty. <laughs> it's off to a hotel and back again tomorrow, with the hope that two people don't show up. In Liverpool, Kevin's back on the ground. But the flying bug has got to him, and he's thinking about a career in the sky as a cabin steward. I wouldn't mind a crack at this. You should get up here and join us. Yeah, especially with being based in Liverpool now. You know. We can have a good, good laugh. Yeah. We don't mind night stops. You know, you go out, have a couple of beers. That's right. Get, get to see a few places. Have you applied then? Well, I'm not thinking about it. The only thing is, I don't seem to be getting anywhere with, with this company. Good, good, good crowd. Hi, good crowd, all of them. Good crowd of girls. <laughs> I like that hat. Lovely, isn't it? Lovely. They're lovely. They're the new easy jet hats. Yeah, you've got to wear them all the time. They're so hot, though. <laughs> <laughs> Even the goddamn bags are orange. Okay, I'll take this hat off. It's not really the easy jet hat, is it? <laughs> no, it's my scarf. You're not serious. <laughs> no, but don't even suggest it. You should get, get up here, join us. You've got what it takes, you've got a sense of humour. Yeah, I've got the laugh. charisma. Yeah. I've got the body, Martin, just like you. Oh, thanks, you know, <laughs> a matching stomach to Homer Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> In Luton, the Morgans are back, determined to get two standby seats on the flight to Palmer. I'm in fighting mood today. <laughs> I am not going to move until we get on that blue flight. Oh, we've definitely got one that's not turned up at the moment. We've really got another one. So if we haven't, we can get it checked in earlier than normal. So we'll be all right. That leaves just enough time to get Teddy a passport. Do you know how to do it? We've got two no-shows that aren't coming, so she will be going. I just need her back now to check her in, really. I'm so relieved, I can't tell you. I really, I did, yes. I really did think um, there could be a problem. I've been, all night, I've been thinking there's gonna, what do I do next? So we're really pleased, aren't we, Nish? We're going, yeah! Thank you, Alison, You've been wonderful. Thank you. One day late, their family holiday can begin. In Oxford, check-in assistant Katrina Batham is having radiotherapy as part of her treatment for renal cancer. I'm just going to dim the lights now. Thanks. We'll just get you in position. Yeah. Katrina's recovering from a nine-hour operation. I removed the tumour successfully 
I mean, I was very worried about going down and I was frightened, I, you know, I weren't going to wake up. I said, but when I came through, um, they were all very pleased with me. I remember the day when I had come home and I had my first bath, so to speak, after the op. I had a big cry because I really thought my body was a mess. I mean, I've got scars all over now. Um, but then, as Julian keeps reminding me, these scars are saving your life and, you know, it's something that you should be proud of. And I think it's, it's changed my view again and once again I am proud to show him. And in the summer I'll be wearing my bikini, showing off with pride. <laughs> it's been a hectic four months for EasyJet. Are you the last passenger? The airline has carried over 700,000 passengers on 6,000 flights and added 30 new aeroplanes to its fleet. At Luton, Jane has borne the brunt of the passenger problems. I don't care if there are children around. Get me somebody that is going to give me some answers and I'll not just fob me off. Do you know where you're going to? Um, where are you I've to? forgotten. I can only pass on the information they give to me I'm and sorry, they tell me they're not to do that. I haven't lied to you at all. I've just passed you on what I was told. Jane's decided not to go for promotion and a desk job because she wants to stay in the front line. Like being in the hustle and bustle of everything, you know, once you, when you're busy, the day goes quickly and helping the elderly passengers. I love that and the kids, it's lovely. But no, I just, I just enjoy it all, really. For Kevin, the last four months have brought their frustrations too. We didn't get a wave, did we? I thought she might have turned around and she's obviously not seen me. Captain's not a bit happy about it. When he's not happy, I'm not happy because I get the flag. But with EasyJet expanding its service from Liverpool with four new routes, Kevin's thinking seriously about applying to join the cabin crew. I'd like to end up in that flight deck. That would be my ultimate target, and that's one way of getting there. Start at the bottom and uh, work your way up. I'm sure that I'd enjoy it. And it's been a time of tears, trauma, and ultimately hope for Katrina. If he hadn't proposed, I'd have been really gutted because I really thought he must have that ring because there was something hard in his pocket. <laughs> Katrina Joanne Leader. Are you sure I should have it cut? And two weeks ago, with the latest scan results showing no sign of cancer, Katrina and Julian were finally able to set off on their long overdue honeymoon.